Hi everybody, today I want to show you the new Asus EEE PC 900 HD. And the difference between this Asus EEE PC 900 HD and the EEE PC 900 is that this particular one has an Intel Celeron processor of 900 megahertz and also has it 160 gigabyte hard drive. That varies right there from the other one which used to have a solid state drive and was really tiny, usually it was 12 gigs or 4 gigs, you know, it's really small drives. Uh, in this case you have 160 gigs here and you can actually change this drive to a 320 gig drive just like I showed you in one of my previous videos uh, for the iMac, uh, for the, I'm sorry, for the Mac Mini which I show you how to put a, a 320 gig drive. It is the same size as a SATA drive and uh, it's easy to change, it's just pop in one and pop in the other and you can install Windows or any other operating system you want on it. In this particular case I have Windows Vista on this machine and it runs pretty good with a 2 gig of RAM that you could put on it. It comes with a 1 gig of memory but you can expand it to the 2 gig. It only has one slot okay so you have to actually take out that, that memory and put in a 2 gig in it so you can, just can't put an extra gig. Uh, the machine runs really good. Uh, for the money, it's perfect. I got this thing for $249. And uh, one thing I wanted to mention about these laptops is, actually these netbooks, is the color. See, they come in different colors. And um, they're very glossy and really nice up here. And I learned my lesson the hard way. They got some scratches on the top here. And uh, I wanted to share something with you guys regarding this. Uh, if you want to protect the netbook on the top, I found this company called decalgirl, okay, .com and I have all the links at aramistech.com so you can see that but this is a decal that you can put and you can choose all kinds of different designs and stuff but this particular one uh, it will it'll actually protect the top here it's an easy removable decal and it also um, you put it inside in here also it'll protect the part where the mouse is and everything so I'm going to show you in the next few minutes everything about this netbook and also how to put that uh, decal on it I appreciate you watching my videos and thank you for watching Alrighty, so here I have laid out everything that comes with this netbook and uh, the Asus EPC 900 HD has uh, the manuals that come with it, the drivers for the software and I want to mention something that happened to me. I had uh, Windows XP Home Edition comes on this unit by default but I erased it and put Windows XP Professional. Once I did that and I put all the drivers in this disk, the, uh, what would happen is while I was using battery mode like I'm doing here and then I would plug in the power cable to the back of it, the screen would get all garbled and it would completely be unreadable. So I had to turn it off and turn it back on and it would work. Uh, if I had it already connected, I didn't have a problem. It's only when I unplug the power and plug it back in and put the cable on it. I believe that the problem is one of the drivers for the power settings that's causing that conflict in Windows XP Professional. But uh, I ended up putting Vista on it and all the drivers on the disk and I haven't had any issues with that. And I can plug it back in and out, no problems. It's only with Windows XP that Professional that had that issue. Uh, th other than that, the machine works pretty good. With Vista, it works very well. On the other side here, I have the power cables that come with it. It's just a regular 110 adapter and it plugs it right into the back. Let me show you uh, real quick all the, all the features on it and the USB ports and everything that come with it. On the left hand side of the netbook, you will find here the sound card ports and here's the uh, a speaker that you can plug in and the microphone. It already has a microphone built in and a camera so you won't need that and it has speakers also on board but if you want to put anything external you can. Uh, here you have one USB 2.0 and you will find a 10100 built in network card along with a 54 wireless G connection built on board. In the back here you have the 110 power connector and you also have here the, uh, the battery and let me show you the battery real quick. It's a four cell battery and it's easy to slide out. You just click the little switch on the right and you can slide it out and you can upgrade this battery to an eight cell battery which will give you a longer usage. This particular one gives me about two and a half hours the 8 cell battery will give you about 5 to 8 hours of usage and I will put links on uh, on the website so you can check it out. On the back here you also, if you remove these screws right here in the back, these 4 screws, you can take out the cover and there's the hard drive and the memory. I'm going to show you, where you how you can change and upgrade it. I took the cover off because I want to show you um, what come, the memory itself. But like I said, there is one chip here so you can pop this on either side and the memory comes right out. It's one chip that fits in here. You can just buy regular memory for it, netbook, notebook memory. And uh, I'm going to put links on the website at armistech.com with all the information you're going to need so you can get the memory for it. But you can put the 2 gig, and I did that here. I have a 2 gig chip in here, and it works perfectly fine. The hard drive is a SATA drive. All you have to do is slide it out. It comes right out. 
and as you can see here, just a regular SATA drive. You can actually go ahead and buy yourself another SATA drive like this, that is 320 gigs for example, and you can actually add it to this machine, and it should work completely because there is nothing different about it. The same drive that I used in the Mac Mini video is the one that you can use here. Just go to the website aramistech.com and you'll be able to see the video and the links there for that particular drive. On this side of the machine, uh, on the EEPC 900 HD, you have the monitor connection. You can put an external monitor here and you have two USB ports 2.0 right here and an SD card slot right here so you can actually buy an SD card and put it in here I don't think you're gonna need to buy extra storage because you have 160 gigs that's a pretty good amount of size and like I said you could go ahead and change the drive on the machine to a bigger one the monitor I want to just mention that if you put an external monitor here uh, normally in Windows XP or Vista you can switch so that the external monitor becomes your primary monitor well I couldn't get that option to work on, uh, on this netbook so uh, it doesn't work on this one and doesn't work on the EEPC 1000 HEB it didn't work either so uh, that's definitely uh, something you have to look at but you can use it as a secondary external monitor and extend the desktop so that that would work for that but it won't work as a primary monitor Alrighty, here's the keyboard as well. The keyboard is kind of tiny. Everything's a little cramped in here, but it works really good. And uh, if you want something quick on the go that you need to just access something and just you know quick, quickly look up a video or something small on the internet, definitely this is really good. The, if you want to spend more time on the, on the computer, you're gonna be working longer periods of times on the netbook, then you wanna go ahead and get yourself the EEPC 1000 HEB, which has a better, bigger keyboard and uh, it's nicer to use with longer periods of time. Uh, the uh, this keyboard itself, like I said, it's really comfortable. You can actually hold it with one hand and you can type. Uh, if you have big fingers, it might be uncomfortable because you might skip and type two, two keys at a time. Uh, the mouse pad is pretty decent. It's not bad and it responds really good. The mouse itself works very well and there's not much else to it here, but uh, definitely this is a really nice netbook. I'm going to show you now how to actually go ahead and put the skin on this because you see how this fills itself with fingerprints really easily and I also already got it scratched so uh, definitely the skin on it will protect it and I'm going to put links at aramistech.com where you can get all types of skins and different colors and different designs to match your taste and the netbook you have. This netbook comes in different colors uh, I, I chose this one but they have like a blue one, a white one, I believe they have a pink one and uh, they have a black one as well and then this particular red one that they have is like a burgundy that they have uh, stay tuned and let me show you how to put the uh, skin on this unit. First you want to go ahead and clean the netbook. So uh, get yourself a towel or a cloth and go ahead and, and clean that out so it's nice and, and shiny and, and dry it out good. I mean I put a little Windex on it so I can clean this. Let me wait for it to dry and then you're good to go. You can go ahead and then open the skin and put it on the machine. Okay here I have the skin. I already opened the bag. All right, and let me get this out of here. And we're gonna put the skin on the actual uh, netbook. And like I said, this is all cut out, but this part goes on the top, and then this is for the mouse. I just want to mention this is a vinyl uh, product and it stretches and it actually uh, you know sticks on good and you can remove it and put it back on so that's really good and I just want to show you how it looks now on the top looks really nice thank you for watching I appreciate it